Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Chan Ken. Today we're going to do the yeah, property review. It is the face victory suite. So we are along Jalan Sultan Ismail. Yeah. First my other back. Uh, lovely Saturday morning. And further down is basically the intersection of Jalan Ampang and Jalan Sultan Ismail. Okay. This is the monorail line. Yeah. And this tall building here is Menara Bangkok Bank. Oh, beside, just beside, is Ritz Carlton's residence. So going back to this uh, victory suites, this is actually phase two. Phase one is this big huge block here. This is phase one, platinum suites. So phase two is this 1,028 units commercial building. Uh, it's a mixture of hotels and also uh, residents or Soho units rather. So the lower floors, 9 to 29, is basically the hotel unit, 674. And above 354, okay, it's a bit glaring, I can't really see. Uh, the top, between 30 to 50, is actually your Soho units or your residence units. And the highest, right up there, that is your facilities floor. That is level 51. So car parks level 1 to 8 are for your Soho units. And for hotel guests, uh, it's basement 1 to basement 5. Right beside here is actually the sales gallery but they've uh, closed it down I think or at least it's not open today and this plot of land here for the sales gallery is supposed to be uh, phase 3 yeah the phase 3 so yes without further ado let's step in very very busy uh, you can see the cars queuing up a lot of check-in lot of check-out Let's go! So we are walking towards the lobby of Victory Suites. On my left uh, is Platinum Suites, which is basically the first phase. And yes, you will notice how chaotic it is. It's a Saturday, close to 11. So a lot of movement, a lot of check-in, check-out. Depends on how you interpret, right? Yes, it's very busy, but at the same time, uh, uh, there's a lot of demand. So they share the same lobby uh, for phase two, regardless if you are the residence or the hotel. This is the lobby. Okay, yeah, so all these that you see here to my left, these are the Airbnb operators. So they are the authorized Airbnb operators. Uh, Luma, uh, I'm not sure which brand is this. But see, there are three or four of them. Concierge service. This lift lobby is for level 9 to 29. So 9 to 29 is basically all your hotels yeah, under the face suites. And here is basically the hotel check-in. The hotel check-in uh, that side there level 50 to level 30 that is for the residents and yeah look at that look at the chandelier we got styles this is a all-day dining yeah so even if you are not a Hotel guests, you can dine, yeah, no problem. Uh, Molina, uh, this is on the 51st floor of this, of this phase two, yeah. So yes, without further ado, let's hit up, let's go. Stepping off the lift, we are on 43A, and immediately you noticed very very luxurious very similar to a hotel setup and again it's because this whole building uh it's a commercial building you have your hotels on your lower floors and 30 to 50 is purely your residential units so you've got two sections uh two wings rather this is b and the other side is a now the last combined uh there are a total of 17 units served by a total of eight passenger lifts and then another two lift bombas Look at that flooring, marble, very, very hotel feel that you get. 
and even all this wood paneling. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> So this is the unit that we'll be reviewing. It's a corner unit, so it's a uh, you'll be enjoying a very nice view. This is a type KH, one thousand six hundred twenty-five square feet for a room setup of three bedrooms and four bathrooms. Ah, solid timber door, and even for this solid timber door, you would notice uh, it's quite sizable and it's branded. Sandor, as you can see. Branded door. <laughs> First time that I'm seeing that the door itself is branded. Shoe cabinet. Look at that. Yeah. The detail and the how extravagant it is. The shoe cabinet. The DB box is also concealed here and this is your communications box yeah, where you have the fiber termination for your internet subscription so this is the pathway leading to the living room and the master bedroom and also the kitchen but here before that you got two rooms very similar in size uh, almost a duplicate so what I like about this unit, right, is it's the corner unit and hence it enjoys a full glass. They really maximize the glass. All You will notice this piece of glass here, all the way, it goes all the way to the end there. And then the room is here, living room is here, also glass frontage. So they've really maximized uh, the, the fact that it's a corner unit. It's the bathroom. And even the bathroom. Look at that, marbles all around. Okay. All the way to the top. For the water closet, uh, they've customized it uh, to be their own uh, in-house uh, branding, the face. Likewise, uh, similar for this, you can also see uh, the face. Hot and cold. Yeah. So they just split it. Not just for your shower, but also for your sink there. This is by Groher. So not everything uh, is uh, in house branding. Groher, of course, is a very famous uh, brand from Germany. Look at that. <laughs> Wallpaper treatment. This uh, gives you that leather type of feel, the material. Yeah. Queen size bit. And even this wardrobe, right? This green wardrobe, I see a uh, different material. This part here. Okay, this is not so obvious. Uh, you check out the one in the master bedroom. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the view here. Uh, we'll talk about the view when we check out the living room. Much more impressive. The grunt. Very similar. Uh, in terms of the sort of a mirror image. Yeah. Same materials. This bed is thick by the way. Look at how slumberland. This is thick. President suite. Yeah. I'm not sure how this itself is. More than six inch top here. Nine inch, ten inch. Mm. 
very very hotel feel so this is a display cabinet again look at how thick and how uh, solid it is this is the powder room at the front so all the bathrooms uh, they have a a vent there to secure the air and this is because all the bathrooms actually don't uh, face outside you know, it's all internal even for the master bathroom which we check out shortly so there's no natural ventilation for the bathrooms look at this wall mirror glazed this is a bronze glazed This is the living room, dining area. So all the units are fully furnished uh, and it's premium finishing. What you see here is what you're going to get. Everything, uh, the TV, aircon, all this furniture. Yeah. And it's good, solid furniture. This chair <laughs> is extremely heavy. If I were to guess, I think it's easily, I don't know, 20 kilos. Extremely heavy actually. This chair. Yeah. Mm. Solid wood metal frame probably at the bottom. And this looks like a leather finishing. Not PVC, but you can see it's leather. And then the quilt. The design. The table also. Look at that. more cabinets okay let's check out the kitchen so this is the kitchen you got a sliding door yeah if you want to separate out and they got not this nice uh, wooden in cap solid wood So electrical appliances are all by Bosch. You have a washer dryer. You have an oven. And all this kitchen cabinet. Um, boom. Soft close. One of the most branded uh, kitchen, uh, kitchen accessories manufacturer, Bloom. And of course, Signature kitchen, probably the most branded uh, carpentry in Malaysia, biggest and most branded. They have the biggest showroom, by the way, uh, in Malaysia, in Kota Damansara. Forgot the villa, but it's in a Guinness Book of Records for the biggest showroom, home makeover, all the way to the top. Notice how internally also right there, all the is laminated. All the branding is here. Okay. Then hop, wash, fridge, two door fridge, and this basically leads up to your outdoor compressor to service. And I like the fact that at least they put a translucent one, so it allows light in. Yeah. Okay. Not a transparent one, uh, but a translucent, so it allow light in. At the same time, you can hide the aircon compressor. Office table. Ultimately, it's still a Soho, right? This is not a condo per se, a commercial title. So, if you look at the brochure, so it's stated that this whole place, they don't put it as living room, but this whole place is actually office area. Okay, let's talk a bit about the view. So, towards the back here, that is basically 
Kampung Baru. And at the bottom here, if you can see, that is Pintasan Saloma. One of the more iconic landmarks. Very nice at night. Uh, when lights up at night, you can see the major flag. And this is basically Akle Highway. Yeah, from Ampang heading in towards uh, KL city centre. You can see KL CC, the Petronas Twin Towers. You can see all four towers. Uh, decent view of all the four towers. Okay. So again, I was mentioning earlier in my video, all maximized glass all the way from the first bedroom, second bedroom, and then living room. Continues on, of course the kitchen there, continues on here, living room all the way here, L shape. And then beside is the master bedroom, also glass all the way. So it really maximizes uh, its position as the corner unit. You yeah, you can see here. Uh, there is the KL Tower. Again, you can see the full KL Tower from the base all the way to the top, unobstructed. Yeah. Unlike the Petronas Twin Towers, you can see the top. So it's uh, very priceless to be able to see the whole unobstructed tower. Likewise, uh, you can see it for also 118 Merdeka. And this side here is TRX. That's four seasons. Four points, sorry, four points by Sheraton. Ritz Carlton. This is Ritz Carlton residence. I reviewed this uh, just recently also. Oh, interesting. Uh, so this is made from a, a tree bark. Uh, and basically they put it inside a, they make a cast out of this tree bark. So by this tree bark, right, you actually can tell the, the age of this tree also. And how do you tell the age of this tree, right? You actually look at the number of uh, rings. So one ring, okay, it's hard to point out, but one ring basically means one year. So it's, uh, okay, it's hard to show. Let me see from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically you just count on, right, all the way. Uh, doesn't seem to be too big. So I think if you count on, it would be, if I, if I were to guess, 40, 50 years, maximum 60 years. So that's how you tell the age of a tree by counting the rings. There are actually two rings, uh, the darker one and the lighter one. So it comes as a pair. Uh, so to make it easy, you just count the darker rings. Yeah, you count the darker rings, then you can get the age of the tree. One ring represents one year. That's how you determine the age. So yes, very nice uh, unit. It almost feels like you're staying in a hotel. Concierge service at the bottom, you know, you enjoy the ground floor lobby. So nice. Uh, even, and even the unit itself fully furnished, right? The way it's furnished. Moving direct condition. How much is it going for? This is going for, uh, before rebate, it's going for 2,000 per square feet. Yeah, 2,000 per square feet for prime KL CBD area. Master bedroom okay you see this inlay here this is different right <laughs> they really take the effort to make it different this bathroom is slightly different i think the material the finishing the walls This would be compressed marble. Yeah. Why? Because you see, right, all this is broken into small pieces, right? It's not possible for it to be so smooth and to be held together. Hence, it's actually uh, what we call as uh, recycled or waste marble. They put it together and then, of course, they put resins and so on to hold it together and then they polish it one, another, another time. Yeah. Hence, you touch it, it's smooth, you know, but if you see into the details, right, you can see all these small, small bricks. Still very good, uh, compressed marble, uh, don't get me wrong. 
compared to a normal uh, tile, right? Ceramic tile or porcelain, this is still much better. Yeah. Full window, okay, not full, almost to the top. From the bottom, it goes all the way, just uh, two feet from the top. Yeah, so as I said, almost, uh, you really get a good, you maximize this unit, right? The, the, the fact that the corner unit, glass panels all the way around the perimeter for the side that is exposed. So yes, if you're interested to get this unit, uh, do reach out to Rex Central CBD area in KL. And uh, now that we're finished with this unit, we'll check out another layout, slightly smaller layout. That's a two bedroom and just over thousand square feet right beside us here. Here. Let's go. Okay, so this unit is just beside a slightly smaller unit, uh, type JH, 1,195 square feet. Yeah, for a two bedroom and two bathroom configuration. So as far as furnishing is concerned, uh, it's very similar, uh, the type of design and, and furnishing. So we'll talk about purely on the layout. So stepping in, you got quite a distance before your shoe cabinet. This is your shoe cabinet. Uh, again, design-wise, it's exactly the same. Bronze glaze mirror design, uh, but slightly shorter. And to my right, you have your bathroom. So this is not a powder room, and this is not an ensuite. So they removed uh, the bathroom, they put it outside. But that being said, this, buff this room looks slightly bigger, I would say. Yeah. Okay, uh, bathroom wise, very similar. And for this room, smaller window. Although they could make it bigger, but I feel not necessary because you don't get to view, you don't get to enjoy any view. Yeah? Opposite, this is block B. We are in block A. You know, remember, you come out, you know, we have left and right. So this is the other side. One interesting thing about these corner units, right, is the layout of this unit is really very optimized to the sense that it's actually a rectangular, a rectangle shape. So you, you can imagine, right, it's basically this side here all the way. It's going in front, front. The layout is almost like a landed house, approximately like 22 times 50 square feet, 50 plus. So all this is ID, design. And this is your living and dining. So this, behind this wall, is the block B that I was mentioning. So uh, no point to put a big glass frontage because you ultimately are going to look into the other side of the building. This is the kitchen. Very, very similar. Again, you've got these sliding doors. Uh, fixtures are all the same. But your aircon compressor, outdoor compressor, is now separated here as opposed to having it uh, accessed via the kitchen. Similar furniture, uh, the office table, the dining table. The only thing different, uh, I would say, advantage of this unit is that you have this side panel here. And hence, you actually get to enjoy Kale Tower in its full glory. Yeah. From the top to the bottom, unobstructed. Yeah, unobstructed. And behind is a uh, Merdeka 118. Compared to the other unit, uh, the bigger unit, 1006, you're actually viewing it uh, via this panel here. Hence, it's a bit of a struggle. Compared to this one, right, it's a much more natural view. Okay, that's about it. I don't think so. There's any much to highlight in the master. As far as selling price is concerned, uh, very similar, uh, 2,000 plus minus per square feet. So again, if you're interested uh, in getting a unit here, it can be the bigger unit, can be the smaller unit. There are other layouts too. Uh, reach out to KLCC Specialist Rex Tam. He's also on YouTube, so I'll also be sharing his YouTube channel below. Uh, do check out his profile and also subscribe to his channel. Now that we're finished reviewing this unit, let's head up to check out the facilities.
Let's go! Stepping off the lift, we are on 51. So, because this is a commercial, right? And I was saying uh, it's a mixture of hotel, restaurants, uh, Airbnb. So, on a Saturday morning, look at the crowd. And I can't blame, right? Because again, we are so close to uh, KLCC, very, very strategic location. And you get a full view of KL Tower. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is it. Uh, not much L shape, infinity pool. But the amount of people, right? If I were to count at a glance, at least 50 to 70. Anything between 50 to 70. Extremely busy. Good. Uh, Two, two, two ways to look at it. Yes, you might not be able to enjoy your facilities, right? If you are a resident, you know, it's very frustrating. But it also means that there's a lot of demand for each property. So if you want to buy, you know, you want to rent out long term, uh, there's a GRR scheme for those uh, purchasers, uh, optional GRR scheme. Uh, or you want to rent out on your own also. I don't think so. It's an issue. Look at the crowd. <laughs> the demand. Uh, waiting pool. And that is the first phase, Platinum. So this is Victory Suites. That is Platinum Suites. And if you actually notice, right, if you combine the names, Platinum and Victory. Platinum Victory, yes. The developer is actually Platinum Victory. A very, very well-known developer in Setapa. They literally developed the whole of Danau Kota. Uh, for those who live there, uh, very familiar, PV1, PV2, 5, 6, 10, 12, a lot of uh, developments by PV and this look at that and night here I understand it's very nice because they actually they light up uh, okay, let me see if I can see nearer a biscuit at night here you can light up and basically shoot up and down yeah the lights so this whole facade is very nice at night and it's very very big it's like three stories with glass or reflective Stainless steel above. That's the first phase. Yeah, platinum. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's the whole Bukenara's Forest Reserve. And at the bottom, uh, you actually have the famous intersection of Jalan Sultan Ismail and Jalan Ampang. Yeah. Right beside here is Ritz Carlton. Okay. Now let's head down to the floor below to check out the main facilities floor. Let's go. Stepping off the lift, we are on 50A. So this is just a floor below. You have fitness, surau, and restrooms. Restroom? I'm going to skip this time around. Uh, because it's a bit unsightly. I mean, they are basically doing renovation for the guys. And I can't enter for the girls, obviously. Surau. Sorry. So this is the surau. Uh, there's someone inside praying. So... Ouch. Okay, never mind. Uh, the main one, uh, the fitness center. So it's rather simple, this fitness gallery. Yeah. Very simple fitness gallery. Uh, it enjoys a nice view because you get all the way from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Towards the back, Akle Highway. And this is the Pintasan Saloma. Further behind there, that's where you see uh, Banjaran Titi Wangsa. Not sure if you can see uh, Genting's Highlands. Maybe can, maybe can't. I think this should be Batu Caves. I think. Yes, this one here. Okay, yes, that sums up our review here for 
the face victory suites if you're interested to rent a unit here uh, do reach out to Rex his contact is below in the description let me know what you think about this property this is a very fair value property in my opinion 2000 square feet plus plus before rebates for a fully furnished unit that is uh, very hotel hotel like you know hotel furniture like in the central uh, central business district uh, this is an office i think it's a developer's office and it looks like it nevertheless yes uh, let me know what you think in the in the comments below uh, and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel do like the do smash the like button of the video and last but not least uh, thank you and see you in my next video bye